Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to both add and subtract positive and negative integers. Okay, so to do this successfully, we are going to be using our number lines. All right, now to use our number lines, we have to apply a few rules. All right, so if we are adding, all right, if we add a, a positive, we move to the right of our original number. Okay, if we're going to add a negative, we will move to the left of our original number. If we are subtracting and we're subtracting a positive, we'll move to the left of our original number. If we are subtracting a negative, we will move to the right of our original number. All right, so let's do a, our first example here. Um, we will do negative three plus positive two. So what we will do is we'll go to our number line here and we will put in our number line where our original starting number is, which we know is negative three. So I'll put a little X right here. Now we are adding. So I know it's going to be one of these two rules and we are adding a positive. So to add a positive, we move right. So we're going to move right from that point two places, which will be one, two, which will give us negative one. So I can put in right here, the answer would be negative one. All right, we'll move on to example two. Um, so in example two, we will do negative three, but we will add negative two. So we'll start with the same. We know that negative three is our starting number. All right, so we'll put x right here next to negative three. And we're still adding, so we know it's gonna be one of these two rules, but we're adding a negative two this time, all right? So we move left. So we're gonna move left two spaces, one, two. So we know the answer is negative five. All right, move on to the third example. Our third example, we will do negative four minus positive one. All right, so we'll put in our starting number, which we know is negative four, so that'd be right about there. All right, now we are subtracting. So we look at our rules for subtracting. When subtracting a positive, like we know it is, because there's no negative symbol there, we move to the left. So we're gonna move to the left one spot, which will give us negative five. All right, and our final example, let's do a negative four again, but let's minus negative five. All right, a little bit different. So we will start back at our timeline, all right, put an X where our original starting number is, which is negative four. All right, and we are subtracting, so it's gonna be one of these two rules, but we are subtracting a negative this time. So that means we move to the right. So we'll move to the right five places, which will be one, two, three, four, and five, which will give us positive one. And there you have it. That's how you can successfully add and subtract positive and negative integers.